Hello and welcome to the Gadgets and Gizmo show on Headlines Today. I'm Siddharth Sharma and over the next half an hour, we've lined up a power-packed show for you guys. But before we begin, let's tell you what's the lineup. On the show this week, Motorola Moto X second generation. Is it worth your money? There is another budget tablet from Flipkart that is promising. And a game that is all set to make this year end with a bang. So that was the lineup on the show. So let's begin by the X factor that we have on the show this week. Yes, we are talking about the Motorola Moto X second generation. Is it worth your money or not? Let's find out. When Motorola came out with the Moto X, it was not that impressive. This though is the second generation Moto X and it definitely has the X factor in it. For starters, it has a new curved design line to it. Moto X second gen has a nice grip in hand and the feel is upmarket on this one. The design line that you'll find on the Motorola Moto X second gen is similar to what you will also get on the Google Nexus 6. And the new design line, the curvy design line is actually pretty refreshing. The display on the second gen Moto X is also an active display and is now a 5.2 inch full HD display. The color reproduction is amazing and the screen is sharp and clear for watching videos and reading text even under direct sunlight. Performance wise Moto X is an undisputed king when it comes to a smartphone priced at Rs 32,000. Moto X 2nd Gen is by no means a smartphone that is under powered. At its heart, you get a 2.5 GHz quad-core Qualcomm Snapdragon 801 processor backed by 2 GB of RAM. Internal storage is 16 GB. It runs on Android KitKat 4.4 operating system, but you can also upgrade it now to Android 5.0 Lollipop. When it comes to the camera, the Moto X 2nd Gen sports a 13 megapixel primary camera and a 2 megapixel front facing camera. There is also a dual LED ring flash, which looks attractive but is more of a cosmetic lift up than functional. The camera performance is not that great, at best just average. The phone has a non removable lithium ion 2300 mAh battery that will last you just about a day. The only hitch with the Motorola Moto X is that it's only available online and that too on Flipkart. Well, it's a bit of a shame because it's not accessible to all. Motorola Moto X 2nd Gen is as good as it gets considering a price tag of Rs 31,999. And it is one good option for people who are looking forward to the Google Nexus 6 because the Moto X 2nd Gen looks similar to it and even performance wise is close enough. And while the Nexus 6 is priced at almost Rs 45,000, at 12,000 rupees cheaper, Moto X 2nd Gen is a very good option. Now many of us use productivity apps on our smartphones and tablets and most of the times the interface of these apps are very dull and boring. So we thought why not tell you about productivity apps that are refreshingly fun as well. Find out next. Whether you're taking notes, creating to-do lists or storing your files, there are plenty of apps you can use to boost productivity and get things done in the most engaging way possible. So keeping that in mind, here are some fun but productive choices that will make your phone feel brand new. First on our list is Evernote, which has become one of the most popular note-taking apps online with millions of users and deep integration into the very fabric of the internet. Evernote basically organizes notes in convenient notebooks and you can create as many notebooks as you want and fill them up with text, images or links. Also, Evernote offers a cloud-based service so every word you type into that app will be viewable across all your devices. Evernote is free to download on Android, iOS and Windows OS. Next up is Skitch, which started as a PC app for sharing screenshots and other images but has now made the transition over to Android and iOS. 
With Sketch, you can use shapes, arrows, sketches and text annotation to get your point across fast. Sketch is the perfect tool for highlighting something in photo, collaborating with co-workers or brainstorming ideas. Then there's QuickShare, which is by far the simplest way to share your contacts, pictures, videos and files across platforms. What makes this app so great is that you don't have to be on Wi-Fi or use Bluetooth. Very simple and very productive indeed. If the thought of overflowing inboxes drives you mad, then this app is for you. Mailbox helps you achieve the zen-like state of Inbox Zero by labeling your emails and organizing them for later attention. Just swipe to the right, select the appropriate label and the email will be removed from your inbox. Or if you would rather put off the email until the weekend, then there's a label for that too. Mailbox is an intuitive, fun and time-saving way to deal with an age-old problem. Bookmarking apps are dime a dozen, but Pocket does something much better than bookmarking. It saves articles to a central cloud-based system and strips them of all the unnecessary stylistic elements, which results in easy access to all articles without annoying ads or full colors and useless navigation menus. It's like having your very own personal assistant who helpfully clips out newspaper stories for you. Now everyone is looking for a budget tablet these days and there are many manufacturers out there with their products to choose from. Another one to the list added recently was by Flipkart. They came out with the Flipkart Digi Pro XT911. Is it worth your money or not? Let's find out. This is the top model in Flipkart's lineup of DigiFlip Pro series. Meet the XT911 tablet and it has a lot to offer like a 8.9 inch full HD display, metal and glass body, 2 GB of RAM, Intel processor, 5 megapixel rear camera and all this at a price tag of Rs 14,999. The frame on the side of this tablet is made up of aluminium while the back is made up of scratch resistant glass. This is a clunky tablet but Flipkart has tried to use premium finish on this one. Design-wise, it looks sturdy and classy. Not for once you will realize that this is a tablet for only 15,000 rupees. The tablet has an 8.9-inch IPS display with a resolution of 1200 by 1920 p The display is bright, offers good viewing angles and color reproduction as well. Under direct sunlight, the display is not that reflective. XT911 Tab runs on Android 4.2 Jelly Bean operating system and is expected to get Android 4.4 KitKat update in the near future. DigiFlip Pro Tablet is powered by a 2 GHz dual-core Intel Atom processor with hyper-threading technology. The processor is backed by 2 GB of RAM and performance-wise, this is a completely lag-free tablet. For connectivity, you get Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and 3G. Internal storage is 16 GB which is expandable up to 32 GB. Now this is probably the only 9-inch tablet that gives you voice calling facility with 3G. How about that? Flipkart DigiFlip Pro XT911 has a 5-megapixel rear camera and a 2-megapixel front-facing camera. The rear camera does not come with an LED flash, so it's not possible to click almost any pictures in low lighting conditions. Camera-wise, it's just average. The 6500 mAh lithium polymer battery on the DigiFlip Pro XT911 also lasts you easily 8 to 9 hours. Battery performance on this tablet is also superb. Priced at Rs 14,999, DigiFlip Pro XT911 is a big screen tablet and Flipkart has done a great job in coming out with a budget tablet that has a lot to offer. Now this is a complete package for people looking to buy a tablet for 15,000 rupees. It competes well with the Lenovo Yoga 10 tablet and also the HP 10 tablet. But the only unique selling point about the DigiFlip Pro XT911 is that it runs on an Intel chipset.
Now, Ubisoft recently came out with the next level to their popular franchise, Far Cry. This one is called Far Cry 4 and you would definitely relate to it because this game is just awesome. How awesome? Sahil Maniktala tells you all about that. Yes, Siddharth, Far Cry 4 is finally here and it is already being hailed as one of the best games in the series so far. Now, this game is developed by a company called Ubisoft, which in the past has been accused of rehashing the same stuff over and over again and not really trying anything new. So next up, we're going to find out what new features this game has to offer its fans and whether it's worth their time. This was supposed to be... Well, not this. We have a party waiting for you. Set in Kirat, a fictional region in Nepal, Far Cry 4 is packed with snowy mountains, ancient temples, religious statues and a whole lot of wildlife. In this installment, you play as Ajay Kale, an American who has returned to his mother's homeland to spread her ashes and fulfill her dying wish. But then for some reason or the other, you're caught up in the middle of a civil war and the antics of an evil dictator. As a player, you get to choose who are your allies and enemies in a game with the same mechanics as Far Cry 3, only expanded and polished in a bigger open world environment. Now, one of the most interesting things about Far Cry 4 is the way in which you travel and explore the open world. You can walk, you can run, you can swing across trees, you can even ride the odd elephant or two. But perhaps the best way to travel in this game is with an auto rickshaw. Now, I could sit here and talk about just that all day long, but I think it's one of those things that you just need to see for yourself. How amazing was that, right? And if riding an auto and causing a lot of destruction along the way doesn't convince you to play this game, then don't worry, because there are some other features that make Far Cry 4 the complete package. Easily the best part of Far Cry 4 is the game's stronghold takeover mission, where you're required to stake out a fortress manned with hostile troops. These sections are as much fun as ever, combining tension and tactics with epic firefights. Another of the game's new addition is the improved and expanded multiplayer, with this year's standout online feature being the new cooperative mode, where you can take your character online and team up with other players to tackle the game's campaign. Now Far Cry 4 does borrow a lot from the last game, Far Cry 3, but we're not complaining, as it's a formula that seems to work very well for Ubisoft. Despite a very similar gameplay engine, developers of Far Cry 4 still managed to add enough excitement, fresh ideas and a brilliant new landscape to justify the return trip. I came in a sane man and came out like this. To you, you will come out a king. Do what you came here to do. HTC came out with the HTC One M8 this year and this was undoubtedly one of the best Android smartphones we've seen for a long time. But the only hitch with this smartphone was the camera on it. It had a duo camera but a 4 megapixel ultra pixel camera which would give you very distorted low light imaging. And to improve on that, HTC came out with another version recently to the M8 and this one is called HTC One M8i. And the camera on this one is improved. Check this out. HTC has recently launched the HTC One M8i in the Indian market. And it seems to be the exact carbon copy of the discontinued HTC One M8. The only real change in the all-new eye comes in the form of the rear camera. The 4-megapixel ultra-pixel camera is gone, now replaced by a 13-megapixel dual-lens one. The updated camera takes better quality pictures from its predecessor, but only marginally. And in low lighting conditions, the camera really didn't impress us all that much. 
HTC has decided to keep the 5 megapixel front facing camera and it's still one of the best phones for snapping selfies. The addition of new camera modes such as split captures is quite refreshing and gives you the best of both snappers. There are also a range of new camera features such as auto selfie, voice controls for your snapper, video face tracking and video screen sharing. The new HTC One M8i isn't offering current M8 users anything groundbreaking, apart from a slightly better camera with a higher megapixel count. But for people considering to buy a powerful smartphone, then the HTC One M8i at a price tag of Rs 38,990 is a brilliant option. Now you all love our Bluetooth speakers for our music listening needs. But what if you don't want to replace your old speakers and still go wireless? Well, don't worry, up next is the solution. Logitech came out with a Bluetooth audio adapter in India recently, and you can buy this one for as low as Rs 1467. This is a tiny gadget, and in the box you get just a Bluetooth audio adapter and a power adapter. Logitech utilizes multi point Bluetooth tech with this new adapter, which allows you to connect two compatible Bluetooth source devices with it at once. This audio adapter from Logitech can convert any speaker, home audio system or AV receiver into a Bluetooth wireless device. Once you've paired the adapter with a device, it will automatically reconnect. You can choose either a 3.5mm jack or standard RCA cable to connect your system to the receiver. It works on Bluetooth 3.0 technology and weighs just 47 grams. The sound quality and fidelity are great. Broadcasting range is up to 65 feet or 20 meters with an external antenna, which is very impressive. This is one gadget that can make any of your home sound system go wireless. And wireless is awesome. And with that, it's time for us to say goodbye on this edition of the Gadgets and Gizmos show. If you have any comments, queries or suggestions, tweet us at HLT Gizmos. You can also email us on htgg at arjstudge.com. We'll see you same time, same place next week. Until then, keep loving technology and spend wisely.